Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Art Whisper 88. When do you think this painting was done? In the 1960s? No. 1940s? No. 1920s? Still wrong. This painting was done in the year 1907. And just to show you the enormous scale of it, here is a photograph of it in a Swedish museum where it is proudly displayed. Our artist of the day is Hilma Af Klint, and her life story is just too fantastic to depict in this video. So, I will use her work, which is entitled Youth, as my inspiration piece today to do a mixed media piece and pay homage to her. Okay, here we are at the next segment of this video. Uh, I have here an assortment of Posca markers in these candy colored uh, shades and I will do some curly cue lines just like the background in the painting Let's start with some Now, in Hilma's paintings, I think every, every little gesture has a symbolism. And she was a mystic, and she claimed to hear voices from uh, either the departed or visions from the future. So... I'm just going to do my usual circles. Now, I'm not sure that this will register or make any significant transfer, but I think they will uh, add to the texture of the background. Okay, so that's it for the first layer, and um, I'm going to apply This color burnt sienna. It's kind of a darker color and I am hoping that it will contrast with the pastel colors of the Posca markers.
going to try to mix that with some orange. And I will see what the result is. feels good to be rolling again because I haven't been printing for a while. I've been busy exploring collage and I feel that you know all these disciplines they all go together. They have their separate moments and I think it's good for any artist to explore. Okay, now I am going to use a sheet of my favorite paper, uh, Somerset. And since I'm trying to capture the markers underneath, I'm going to leave this for about five minutes. I think the key to create successful transfers is to have some patience. I do see some artists on YouTube work very quickly Sometimes it's so fast, I, I have trouble following. Um, but I have a slower pace. I hope that is okay with you. Uh, because I think once you wait, the rewards are greater. So patience is a virtue, like they say. Be back in a few minutes. Okay, let's see what we got here. we've got a good transfer. Let's say almost all the paint has transferred to the paper. Okay, check this out. I like that. So, uh, as usual, I will air dry it with my desk fan and move on to the next step. Okay, this has dried very nicely. Now to have some fun, I have some black tissue paper here. And it has some marks of the... Uh, warm-up exercises. Now, according to the inspiration piece, there are some black circles. I think they are representations of shells. I'm not quite sure what 
the symbolism is, but I'm going to make some circular shapes. She makes use of some circles and ovals. Okay, now aside from the black shape, she uses some white circles. Now instead of white circles, I will I have some leftover uh, pastel transfers, and I think that will work. is from a previous video and I think I think this will work well first let me set these guys down I think it is truly amazing for this uh, lady artist during her time to come up with these very revolutionary pieces that were unheard of, especially for a woman, because during that time the art world was dominated by men and in many respects it still is okay that's it for the black shapes Now she's very fond of these, uh, I would call them candy colored pieces or elements.
Now I will introduce my own imagery. It's also circles, but
Okay, I'm going to air dry this and then continue on to the next step. I may add some hand-drawn lines or squiggles, uh, just like the inspiration piece. So don't go away. Okay, here we are at the final leg of this video. I have here my Posca marker. This is yellow. I'm going to do some concentric concentric circles here. Now I'm going to finish with a very bold, this is white paint. Okay, usually I will wait until the uh, desk fan dries this, but I I uh, think it's okay. I'm going to give a close-up. You can see the combination of the collage and the hand-drawn elements and the uh, background created by the gel plate. I hope you like this video. Uh, please share, like, and if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. And please don't forget to check out my new website, artwhisper88.com. And I do hope to see you next time.